Hi doctors welcome to the new episode of our A to Z series where every day alphabetically we discuss one of the most repeated previous year topics of INICET NEET PG and FMGE and our today's episode is episode H where H stands for Hamlet's maneuver so let's begin our discussion with solving two previous year questions and later we'll discuss the topic in detail our first question is An 18-year-old boy is rushed to the ER after having choked on a bone while eating. He is responsive but unable to speak. What is to be done next? A. Bag and mask ventilation. B. Endoscopic removal. C. Deliver five back slaps and five chest compressions. And D. Perform Hamlet's maneuver. So, which option do you think is the correct one? Well, yes. Option D. Perform Hamlet's maneuver is the correct option. Our next question is: An adult man in a restaurant suddenly begins choking on his food. He is conscious. The following procedure was performed. Identify the procedure. Option A. Hamlet's maneuver. Option B. Back slap. Option C. Chest thrust. And option D. Blind insertion of finger. Yes the correct option is option A Hamlet's maneuver Now let's understand what is Hamlet's maneuver The Hamlet's maneuver is a first aid method utilized to dislodge an object from a person's windpipe when they are choking The maneuver includes standing behind the choking individual and applying forceful upwards pressure on the abdomen to form enough pressure to dislodge the object Differentiating between choking and other medical emergencies Choking is the obstruction of the airway by a foreign object or food while other medical crises such as heart attack or stroke may have diverse indications and require distinctive first aid techniques Importance of fast response in a choking emergency Choking can lead to genuine injury or death if not treated quickly It is important to act rapidly and call for emergency medical assistance if the casualty is incapable of breathing or loses consciousness. Other first aid strategies for emergency situations: CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a first aid method utilized to resuscitate an individual who has stopped breathing or has no heartbeat. Other first aid techniques include the recovery position which is utilized to position an unconscious individual on their side to prevent choking on vomiting and the utilization of an automated external defibrillator AED to treat cardiac arrest now let's discuss the steps of hamlet's maneuver first lean the person forward slightly and stand behind him or her second make a fist with one hand third Put your arms around the person and grasp your fist with your other hand near the top of the stomach just below the center of the rib cage and last make a quick hard movement inwards and upward Now let's discuss a very commonly asked question can you perform the hamlet's maneuver on babies infants should receive a combination of back slaps and chest thrusts The adult and child Hamlet's maneuver is not recommended for use in infants 12 months or younger. To perform this method, follow these following steps. Turn the infant face down and their chest resting on your forearm. Make sure their head is lower than their body. Using the heel of your hand, strike the infant between their shoulder blades 5 times. The strikes should be firm but should not be so hard that you cause injury check the infant's mouth and remove any visible objects if their airway remains blocked turn the infant's face with their head down using two or three fingers give five inward chest thrust about 1 to 1 and 1/2 inches into the infant's breastbone sternum check the infant's mouth for visible objects again Repeat this procedure until the object is freed or dislodged or the infant becomes unconsciousness. If the infant becomes unconsciousness, start CPR. So here are the steps done to perform Hamlet's maneuver for babies or infants. First, apply 5 back thrusts between shoulder blades with one hand and second, apply 5 chest thrusts using 2 to 3 fingers and repeat this procedure several times. 
so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you in our next episode that is episode i